Hey kids, Jamie Spencer, Like Humming Creek Chronicles, the good folks at Elvis, Like Humming Valley Intermediate School has asked me to give you a presentation on fishing here in Lycoming County. Uh, we are very blessed to live in Lycoming County because it gives you a number of fishing opportunities uh, for all types of different species. And although I would much rather do this presentation in person, because of COVID, we have to do it via Zoom. So I'm gonna put together a short clip, uh, probably like a 25 minute presentation on some of the fishing that I do, and also talk about some of the techniques, uh, different types of fish in our area, and how fishing is one of those uh, uh, extracurricular activities that you can do for a long, long time. So sit back, enjoy, uh, again, um, Jamie Spencer, like Humming Creek Chronicles, and uh, hopefully I will be in a Zoom session. So if you have any questions, uh, just let me know. All right, enjoy. First, let me say that I am not, I am not an expert. I'm just a guy who gets out on the water an awful lot. So again, this whole collection of video, collection of footage is geared mostly towards fishing right here in Lycoming County. There are a number of different ways that you can fish, and I'm just gonna show you basically the three simple setups or rod and reel combos that you can use. The first is what we call a push button or a Zepco. These are very, very popular and what most people use when they are just getting started with fishing. You might see them at Walmart. They come with Star Wars, SpongeBob, Spider-Man. Very easy to use. All you do is push the button, make a cast, and there it goes. The second setup is what I would call a spin rod and reel combo, or a spinning rod. Great setup to use here in Lycoming County. Very easy to use as well. You just hold on to the line, click the bail, make a cast, retrieve, and you might catch something. Fly rod, a totally different setup. Usually it's a little longer, a little lightweight. Take a look at that reel. It's different, isn't it? You use this for fly fishing. I will explain later. So there are a number of different ways or techniques to catch fish. The next few slides are some examples of the different lures, baits, and flies that I use and also that work great right here in Lycoming County. Live bait. Here's a photo of a minnow that is on a hook, and believe it or not, fish will just gobble this up. It doesn't matter if you're pan fishing, trout fishing, bass fishing, they love small fish like minnows. I wanted to throw some pictures up here of worms and crickets and stuff like that, but then I thought, eh, maybe I better not. Power bait. Yes, so this is an engineered live bait slash, but it's made by a human. Uh, very, very effective. It uh, tastes, it looks, and it feels just like real live bait, but it's not live bait. I know it's hard to understand, but believe me, it, they work. Inline spinners. Here are a couple of spinners made by Panther Martin, and what they do is mimic bait fish. So you cast them out, probably using a spinning outfit, and you reel them in, and they basically catch anything. Um, definitely want to check them out. I like to use a lot of rooster tails. I've been using these all of my life. 
Rapalas or jerk baits, as you can see, they look just like real minnows. You cast them out, you retrieve them, and you catch fish. It's that simple. The only bad thing about Rapalas is they are an arm and a leg. I just bought one the other day. It cost me 12 bucks. Ouch. Psst. Can you keep a secret? This by far is my favorite lure to use on Lycoming Creek for smallmouth bass. It's the Heaton Torpedo. It's a prop bait. Basically what it does, it mimics a wounded bait fish or a frog or something just dangling and it floats up top, splashes, and it causes just an unbelievable explosion and smallmouth bass cannot resist. Definitely, you wanna use one of these on Lycoming Creek. Here's a few of my favorite dry flies that I throw to catch trout. A dry fly, again, to review, floats up top and mimics what's flying around in the air. Sounds pretty simple, right? Wrong. Here's the thing. Trout are very, very smart. They're very finicky and they're very picky on what they're eating. So you'll hear the term all the time, match the hatch. And that is one of the reasons why dry fly fishing is so much fun. Did you know that 90% of a trout's diet is actually these little critters that are swimming underneath the water? That is totally true. So that's why nymph fishing is very, very productive when it comes to trout. These little critters are floating under the water and they come in all different shapes and sizes. Very, very small. I will show you a picture of one of my go-to nymphs for Lycoming Creek. It's called a peeping caddis and you will not believe how small it is. Peeping caddis. Here is a map of Lycoming County. Sorry, it's the best I could find. Lycoming County provides a beautiful backdrop for an outdoor enthusiast like me. Let's take a quick look at some of my favorite stretches of water to fish right here in our backyard. The Susquehanna River, great place to fish from boat from a kayak, from a canoe, or just by the shore. Some of my favorite spots on the Susquehanna are actually right underneath the Market Street Bridge. Good place to fish is also that dam. Lycoming Creek. Now this is probably where I do 92% of my fishing. It's in the backyard, literally. Some of my favorite spots are actually right there by Bowman Field Memorial Park. I'll also fish quite a bit right behind old Hepburn Lycoming Elementary School. Lycoming Creek. I love Lycoming Creek. Rose Valley Lake is simply gorgeous. Great place to kayak, great place to canoe, and you can also catch some fish. I'll head up there to do some bass fishing and also some pan fishing, but I really, really enjoy making the trip just north of town. Here are the fishes found in Pennsylvania. Let's take a detailed look at every single one. I'm just kidding. Let's focus on just a few that we can find right here in the backyard. Pan fish. Crappies, perch, bluegill, pumpkin seed sunfish, the little guys, a lot of fun to catch. Pike, muskies, and walleyes, the big fish of the area. These critters are very, very rare, but at the same time, oh man, they put up an awesome fight. Here's Jensen and I catching a nice walleye in Rose Valley Lake. Oh, and I gotta tell you this story. About one time I caught a smallmouth bass and a muskie came out of nowhere. And well, here it is. Got a muskie. I don't think I'm gonna land him. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, caught a smallmouth. I was reeling in the smallmouth. 
and then a muskie just pounded it. Um, like I said, I hope I got footage. That was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Large mouth and small mouth bass. The ultimate game fish. Pound for pound, they are the strongest fishes anywhere. Love catching those fish on those top water plugs. Enjoy this collection of photos and footage from some of the basses that I've caught here in Lycoming County. Well, if I had to choose one, I would say that trout are my favorite fish to catch. Here are the four examples of trout, different species of trout, that you can find right here in Lycoming County. The first, the brook trout, is actually the official state fish. It's the only one that is native to these waters. Brown trout, rainbow trout, and the elusive golden rainbow, they are actually stocked fish However, you might get a few wild brown trouts, especially there in Lycoming Creek. Take a look at these photos. Can you figure out which one is which? Thank you for the opportunity to tell you a little more about fishing right here in Lycoming County. I hope you enjoyed this small presentation. I ain't gonna lie, kids. I'd much rather be there in school, in person. But we had to do it via Zoom, and congratulations, you made it through. Now in closing, here's a little footage of my favorite fishing partner. I normally fish alone, but it's okay if he joins me. You might recognize him. Enjoy, and we'll talk soon. Thank you.